What'd you say, pups? The time for a video for the boaters rather than the brewers. Yeah? Hey, bus? Yeah. Okay, it's just a quick video. Um, it's not brew related, so if you're part of the brew tube community, you'd probably want to switch it off now. But if um, you live on an airboat, or you've got an airboat, or uh, I don't know, even a motorhome, caravan, something like that, then um, it might be of some use to you. All right, cheers. Okay, so this is basically the wrong way to have your leisure batteries wired up. It's what a lot of people have got them set up like this. Um, up here, they're the wires going off to your uh, isolation switch and to your, then off to your leisure, leisure circuit. And then you'll have, you say you've got four leisure batteries um, and they've, they've got them all paralleled up with, oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, all paralleled up with um, just cables daisy chaining them. And what happens is uh, all cable has got a resistance, uh, you know, over a 30 centimetre length of 30 mil, 35 mil square cable. That's not a lot. It's measured in 0.000 .000 of an ohm. Um, but what happens is all your current coming in. From your charge circuit, all your current coming out, it's going to go to this battery and from this battery first. Electricity is lazy, it always likes the least path of resistance. Um, so basically, this one's going to get charged and discharged the most. And as you go down to the end, this one's going to get charged and discharged the least. So this one's basically going to fail quicker than the others. Um, if you've got lead acid type batteries where you have to top them up with water, this one's going to boil or go dry a lot quicker than the one at the bottom and so forth. Um, what you could do is, to sort of balance it out a bit better, you could swap one of your this cable, you could swap it down to this end. So you'd have daisy chains. Um, and then what you find is these two are balanced and these two are balanced, but all four aren't actually balanced together. So you have to excuse the Rolf Harris. No, that's not right. Um, Tony Hart, yeah, he's not a nonce. The Tony Hart style drawings because um, I've done a load on paint on the computer and stuck them onto the iPad. And then when I was trying, I already did this video twice before, and it, it kind of does this weird thing where it sort of zooms in and pans across the picture, which is, I don't know how you stop that, it's rubbish. Um, so yeah, stuck with having to draw them. Um, so anyway, this is the correct way, it will give you equal balance. So these two wires would be your feed, again, going off to the leisure circuit or your isolation switch. Basically what happens is, for every one of these batteries, it has to go through one short cable and one long cable so they've, to be charged or discharged. So they've all got the same amount of resistance. They're all balanced. So, you know, example, this one, it's one short cable on the negative and then off one long cable and then off to the positive. Um, this one here, the positive is correct, connected, connected directly. So the negative goes through one short and one long, same resistance. And if you look at, look at the drawing, it's the same for all the batteries. One short, one long. That's directly connected. So it goes one short and one long. They're all balanced equally, they'll all charge at the same rate, they'll all discharge at the same rate. It's going to make your batteries last a lot longer. It's going to probably keep your general voltage up slightly higher within, a, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a volt. Yeah, and that's it really. Um, I'm not taking any credit for this. I think I saw it on um, canal, fo canal forums, canal net forums, something like that. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was a guy called Smiley Pete. That posted it. Um, it's a few years ago now, um, but it's amazing how many. Uh, basically, I'm qualified. I, I studied electronics and electrical engineering at college, so um, a lot of sort of local boaters and the ones that know me have trouble with their batteries or the electrics. They'll, they'll give me a shout, and I don't think I've come across one yet that's wired correctly. Um, for some reason, when people 
either wire them up themselves or they or the boatyards wire up their electric circuits. They always do them, you know, I showed you previously, just daisy chained up. Um, and it, it's, you know, it doesn't work. Another quick thing is cables. This one here, I think that was on the boat when I got it. It's sort of crap cable, Mickey Mouse crimped. I don't know if they even used a real crimp tool. Uh, it's not really insulated around the crimps. It's rubbish. Um, it's one of the, excuse the shadow. This is one of the spare ones I, I had knocked up. It's 35 mil cable, which is a lot better. Um, silicon, so it's a lot, a lot more flexible than the, the other cable. Um, and it, yeah, I think the actual wires, you can see them. The wires in this cable are a lot finer, um, which gives you less resistance. So yeah, that's it really. Thanks a lot for watching and um, go, and, go and sort your cables out and your batteries and uh, I hope it helps you out. Cheers, ta-da.